midfield. Well, in lane one, we've got Anna Symes from the West Coast, North Island. Lane two, uh, Ruth Finch from Waikato. Andrea Wade, one of the favourites in lane three from Auckland. Briar Toop, I guess the outstanding 16-year-old and the top sprinter we've had here this weekend in lane four. Heather Shanks in lane five. Tanya Murray, lane six. Now watch out for Michelle Seymour, also in lane seven. Deirdre Helm in lane eight. And Yvette McCausland, one of the favourites of Bevan Smiths, who's here with us. Bevan, a former national 200-metre champion. John, I think this will be a race between Andrea Raid, uh, Briar Toops and Michelle Seymour. But uh, I think I'd be putting money on the brilliant youngster, 16-year-old Briar Toops. She looks so good in the heats, and uh, I think she'll just be too strong for them. But this is Anna Symes from the West Coast, North Island, number 1227. And she's made the final with some good running in the, in the heats. Uh, the West Coast, North Island, not known well for its sprinters in recent years. Ruth Finch from the Waikato. Another unranked runner making it through into the final. So a few surprises that we had in uh, these championships this year. But Andrea Wade, she won the 400 metres yesterday in a very good time, qualifying under the guidelines for the Commonwealth Games. This is Briar Toop. Now she has been just outstanding and uh, surprised us all in being so good because last year she didn't look quite so hot, but this year absolutely brilliant. Heather Shanks from the Waikato. Heather Shanks ranked eighth last year, and this is Otago's Tanya Murray, who's a very good sprinter, ran well in her heat earlier on today. Michelle Seymour from Wellington paddles along very quick and very strong. Deirdre Helm from Otago in lane eight, and on the outside, making up the field of nine finalists for this women's 200 metres, Yvette McCausland from Auckland. Well, clearly a break by Deirdre Helm there. Bevan Smith is a starter for the North Shore Bays Club. Bevan, what about that break? I think Briar Toop uh, will be the one here to beat uh, John. She's showing excellent form, and uh, I think it will be a fight between Briar Toop and young Michelle Seymour from uh, Power Prem in lane seven. an unsettling time there with that break and this the final of the women's 200 meters well, there's a big field here for the starter to control and the starters being very efficient now because they are under trial for the commonwealth games practicing all of their procedures as well And a good start in the women's 200 metres final. Will Briar Toop win it or can Andrea Wade come through? But Toop in lane four at the moment. It's her, Andrea Wade, chasing hard on the lane inside. Strength is going to count here. Michelle Seymour further out. But Briar Toop is first into the home straight. She holds it together. Andrea Wade in lane three chasing hard. Seymour on the outside trying to get through. But Toop wins it. 23.79. An excellent time for Briar Toop to win the women's 200 metres final from Andrea Wade of Auckland. So Toop showing again that she is not just a flash in the pan over 100. Absolutely brilliant. John, what a great time in the conditions. We've got a wet track and it's quite windy down there. Briar Toop looked excellent to winning that race. And uh, Andrea Wade, she came on very strongly for second. So this is how they ran the bends. Running close on the line is important. You can see Andrea Wade in lane three doing that perfectly because she's looking for every centimetre she can gain running around the bend. But Briar Toop with a superior sprinting action comes down the home straight in control. Andrea Wade in lane three tries hard to get back that small one metre, but she doesn't. And further out, Michelle Seymour is holding off the Otago athlete, Tanya Murray, but it's all Briar Toop as she goes down to win it in a very good time. What an exciting...